Hey, this is Julie Mize on Props with Real TV Films. We're at the Forever Femme event supporting breast cancer awareness. I'm here with Suzanne Wong. How are you this evening? I'm great. I'm excited to be here. So you're actually the host of the evening. I'm the MC. I think because I'm a comedian and a TV host and an actor, but also because I'm a stage four breast cancer thriver. I made cancer my bitch. Can I say bitch? <laughs> I just did. Oops. I like that. I like that. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I just got a clean bill of health about a month ago, so it's brand new, and it's a miracle. That's I amazing. I plan to outlive every oncologist who told me I'd be dead by now. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> so you did 10 years on House Hunters. I know. Can you believe it? No, I can't. I just I mean, found that out. People, when they watch HGTV, it's like crack to them, and House Hunters was the number one show on the network, so they're like, I need House I need Hunters. I need more House Hunters. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on now with your career? Well, I'm writing a book about my journey with cancer. Am I, do I need to be clean in this? I'm never to, clean. Because I want to call the book My Left Tit. Can I say tit? <laughs> my Left Boob? That is perfect. That's right? Perfect Instead name. of My Left Foot, remember that Daniel Day-Lewis? Yeah. Maybe Daniel Day-Lewis can play tit. My Left Tit in the movie. My Left One is my better one. Really? Yeah. Really? Well, mine are both chicken cutlets now. <laughs> They're both prosthetic. Well, that's me naturally. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Anyway, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and um, which is bizarre. It's like all the other months just pretend it doesn't exist. But anyway, I'm glad that it, it's happening. And I'm glad that women can know that if they do get a double mastectomy and they want reconstructive surgery, there are options. Mm -hmm. And there's financial assistance, too. So, Where can they go to learn more about? I would say foreverfem.org, um, but Dr. Obeng has a... Um, you know, his office is called Miko, M-I-K-O, and he does great work, not just with uh, breast cancer reconstruction, but, you know, really transforming people's lives, you know, yeah. people's faces. I mean, everything, as you can imagine, mm -hmm. uh, reconstructive surgery can really change, you know, especially in this town. But although I have to say, my left boob is all mangled and deformed and asymmetrical, and so my boob sort of look like a Picasso woman's face, like, like that, but I'm not going to get it fixed up to look perfect because I've grown to see it as beautiful the way it is. Like, exactly. I can be feminine and sexy and beautiful, however my body looks. Mm -hmm. And you survive something, you know. Yes, and I, I'm grateful for the experience. It really got me to um, slow down and ask for help and um, let people love me and receive love because I'm always, you know, women tend to be such givers, giver, 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 giver until we collapse. And this was a lesson in slowing down and letting people and it was really painful at first it was strange how unbearable it was it was like no what are you guys doing here and my friends just came out of the woodwork and oh, I always get emotional talking about it but like people came and just rushed into my house and were scrubbing the floors and bringing food and you know whatever I needed and um and it was it was magnificent and they they loved being able to do it and I just had to lie there and get the lesson of, like, just stay still and receive. So. Well, look at you now. I know. And I just turned 50. Oh, I just turned Congratulations. Because <laughs> black don't crack and yellow don't mellow. <laughs> well, have a great evening, Suzanne. Thank it was you, a I pleasure. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is Julie Mize with Real TV Films. Okay, bye.